So here's where we are with the silo mill. Got the motor pulled out again. I have to take those wires back out of the control box. We're going to go with a DMM Dyna4 servo drive and motor. Associated uh, cabling. That stuff was not cheap. Uh, it was a uh, better part of $800 just for this stuff. And that motor, I mean, it looks nice. Um, it's Chinese made, but uh, I don't know, from all appearances on the outside, it looks pretty good. So does the, uh, I assume the, the servo drive is uh, of Chinese origin too. Uh, it, it says Care of Canada on it. So, uh, that's a lot of money to shell out for Chinese stuff, but hey, if it works, uh, we'll put it to the test and we'll see what happens. So I'm sure I'll be asking for plenty of help in the meantime, because uh, I'm all new to this sort of thing. Um, we'll see how it goes. Here's the update on the sile mill. Uh, the old motor's out. Haven't quite decided how I want to pull that uh, drive gear off. It's cheap sheet metal on the edges and I'm afraid to put a puller on it afraid I'll bend it all up but uh, got to think about that fortunately the motor mount is going to work on the new motor the new motor is a little bit longer uh, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work that out in the machine yet the old spindle controller has been pulled out that's the piece that has been tripping me up on this whole thing and the whole reason why this uh, mill has never run. This is all the wiring for the fourth axis. I hadn't planned on using a fourth axis uh, so I just pulled all that out of the cabinet for the time being just because I think it'll make wiring uh, a little bit easier for a guy like me who uh, is not an electronics genius. Uh, this is the front plate to the mill. I, uh, I guess I'm going to lose the associated uh, display and buttons and so forth uh, except for the e-stop obviously I'll keep that I guess I'll lose the spindle switch too uh, with the upgrade to the DMM stuff this is the cabinet that's where the spindle controller board used to go uh, I've been labeling everything as I've been pulling it out I do have some questions for you guys um, this this power supply I'm not accustomed to or familiar with this big transformer just sitting there with uh, various voltage, voltages coming out of it and I don't know if that's uh, something that a more traditional power supply like I'm used to in a computer uh, with a you know um, like a, it's inside of a sheet metal case and everything I don't know if there's any advantages or disadvantages I'm assuming that is the breaker I'm thinking that's the contactor. I don't know. Uh, that looks like some sort of relay to me. I haven't quite figured out what that is, where it goes. Um, I'm guessing that that is a filter. Um, I'm hoping. Obviously my axis controls and uh, the control board for them as well. All those yellow wires going in are my limit switches and so forth. So anyhow, uh, that's where I'm at right now and uh, we'll go from there.